Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, new video. This video is one of the most important videos that I've made really, I would say, and it's about how to leave an abusive relationship. So um, one of the main things to remember, and this is not to frighten you, but if you've been in a, uh, an abusive relationship, you've already gone through the wondering, should I stay or should I go? And if you've reached a point of, of realizing that routinely you're feeling fearful and frightened and feeling intimidated. And for sure, if you're being assaulted physically or verbally, then uh, why are you staying? Now, there's a whole lot of reasons why people stay in uh, abusive relationships. So if you want to find out why you keep staying, uh, because even it doesn't even seem rational to you, watch my video on why do I stay? But um, the main point I want to get across here is it's important that when you do leave, and you do need to leave, if you're in an abusive relationship, it won't get better. And you do need to leave, and that's clear. And one of the reasons why uh, I'm making this video is to get across to you, you need to feel safe to leave. Uh, when you're, if you're leaving in a panic, uh, you can't think straight. So I'm gonna give you 10 points that you really need to cover uh, to, to leave safely. The first point is um, get a copy of all your important documents. And this applies to you if, you if you're married and have children and have been in you know, a reasonably long-term relationship with a partner who is abusive. So you need to get copies of all your important documents. So all your uh, maybe marriage certificates, the birth certificates of the children, um, your mortgage uh, arrangements, your banks, you, you know, your bank uh, details. Um, you, you, you need copies of all your official documents. Uh, so that you have them. And in fact, it's a good idea to have two copies and leave one set with a trusted friend and, um, and have a set ready to take with you. The second point is uh, make a list of all of your important telephone numbers. Now you can either have a list or, I mean, the third point is to have a spare uh, mobile phone that's not your regular mobile phone. Get yourself a spare mobile phone that, that, that you don't use for anything and put all the important telephone numbers of people that you would need to be contacting in that phone. So that would be um, your solicitors, your doctors, the children's uh, school uh, telephone numbers, um, the bank, um, you know, any any official people, uh, maybe uh, uh, as I'm going to suggest as well, to connect with the domestic uh, uh, abuse agency in your area, have their phone number in there, a refuge in there, uh, your close uh, friends who uh, you, you, you may need to contact quickly. So have all those phone numbers already in a phone and don't have any other uh, phone numbers in there that you don't really need. Th this phone is just for emergency purposes. Have a spare set of keys, uh, keys to your home and keys to your car. Now you might think, well, why do I need a spare set of keys if I've already got a set of keys? If you find yourself in a situation where um, you feel in danger and that you have to get out. It may be that you have to leave your keys maybe on the coffee table where your partner can see those keys, but you have all your documents, a spare set of keys and the spare mobile phone all in a pre-packed bag. The fifth thing that you need to do is to have a pre-packed bag with those documents, with the phone um, and a spare set of keys. So you can look as if 
you haven't left the house, but you have, um, uh, you, you know where you can access the keys should you, should you need to do so without drawing attention to the fact that you've left the house. So have a packed bag uh, and have, a, you know, this is to keep the minimum of, of what you absolutely need to take with you. You know, some people would say, oh yeah, well, make sure you take this and make sure you take that. Take what you absolutely need to have. So of course, um, you know, have a, a change of clothes, have uh, some, uh, a, a warm jacket in case, you know, you haven't got a, a, a coat on, uh, have uh, uh, walking shoes and maybe a pair of boots. But the, the main thing is to take what's essential that you need, but without having so much weight that you can't carry it. And particularly if you have children, um, you know, if you have children, you'll want a spare set of clothes for them uh, and uh, maybe they're, you know, a favorite toy that they can have um, and any medication that you or the children need, um, th th those things. And, and of course, um, in amongst your uh, copy copies of documents, you'll want your passport and uh, bank card details and all that sort of stuff in this pre-packed bag, which you will keep in a place um, that, that is, is outside the house. Now they, that may be at the side of your garage or uh, underneath a bush, maybe in a waterproof uh, bag, but that it's somewhere that if you're leaving the house in a hurry, you can just pick it up and go. Uh, and it's not too heavy for you to carry. So it's about being able to get away quickly with everything that you need in it. Uh, what you would also want in, in the mobile, uh, the spare mobile, is a code word that uh, you have agreed with a trusted friend or family member that, it, you know, the, the word is in there uh, ready to just text to uh, the one family member or friend in particular, or maybe a group uh, that when they get this code word, um, it, it may be a word like exit or uh, now, whatever word you agree, the word doesn't really matter as long as you've agreed with them that if they receive a call from you with this word, that that means you are having to get out now fast. And it may be that you can have a pre-arranged uh, that they will come and pick you up. And it may be that several people get that message. That, that So at least if one of them doesn't see the message, someone else will. And you've arranged a place nearby, but far enough away, you know, out of sight of your home, where you can go and be picked up by, uh, by someone. The other thing that you'll need to think about is... Um, uh, think about rehearsing your escape route from the house, depending on what room you're in, whether you're in the bedroom or the living room or the kitchen. Uh, have it worked out already in your head which door you'll go out, whether you'll go out the front door or whether you'll go out the back door or a kitchen door. Um, have it already planned in your head how you're going to make your exit and actually go through rehearse that exit because um, then that way you'll see whether if you're having to leave at night time when it's dark you'll know where the bins are or where any outdoor uh, tables or chairs or things are that that may be obstacles so rehearse your, your route out of the house. And, and that may be rehearsing several routes so that you've, you've already, the main thing is you've already thought this through. You've already planned it. So when you're in a, a, the situation where you've got to get out and you'll be full of adrenaline at that time. And when you're full of adrenaline, it's difficult to think straight. 
Uh, so that's why you need to have this all prepared in advance, thought through, planned, and that way it takes the pressure off you because when the time comes that you do need to make your escape, you know that you've already got the plan in place and you don't have to start to think about it then. So, and if you've rehearsed your route out of the house, you, you know, you, you can feel confident that you know you're not going to trip over a bin on the way out because you've already uh, uh, sussed it out. So the other thing is to have already um, spoken to your domestic abuse uh, agency, wherever that is uh, in your area or country, uh, that you've already made contact with them, tell them that you, you have some concerns for your safety, um, that uh, you're, you know, at the time of the call, you're not leaving just then, but that you're concerned that in the near future, you may have to make an, a, 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 a relatively unplanned exit, but that you are making a safety plan. Um, that, and, you know, so they, you've got their number in your mo spare mobile phone. And if you need to ring it, you can ring it and you've already given them the background of your story and you just need to give, um, you know, your name and they will already have all your details. So you don't have to go through that all again and introduce yourself. So that introduction has already been made. So that may be with your local domestic abuse agency or a local refuge, um, but also a, a trusted friend that you will have talked this through with. So you're not having to do that at the time of leaving, you've already planned where you can go or will go, you know. And the thing is, if you have resources uh, and you have to go, well, you know, it may be you can afford to um, uh, go and stay in a hotel. And it may be that you don't want to tell close friends exactly where you're going, because that way, if your partner does contact them, they can all say, well, I don't know where she is and they're not lying. One of the other important things, so this is ninth on your list, is to um, cover your tracks. So any of these things that I'm telling you to do, as you put them in place, make sure that you're not, you know, if you write things down, that you, you you don't leave bits of paper in the bin with things written on them or even the impressions in a page uh, underneath. Uh, so do check and check on your computer that you delete any anything that you've you've uh, history that you've got on there. Make sure that you delete that. Uh, so that's covering your 10th thing is to really be aware of any bank trans transactions that you make while you're away, because um, those transactions will come up and will, if your partner gets the uh, statements from your bank, uh, those transactions will show up, show up on your bank statement and that may lead them to know where you're staying. So it's a good idea in amongst your uh, packed bag, to put some spare uh, cash um, or, or a, a, a different card that your, your partner is not connected so to. So the 10 things that you need to remember to do to uh, have a, a safe exit plan is copies of all your important documents, including the children's, leave one set with a trusted friend, have a pack in uh, the, uh, the bag, uh, list all the important phone numbers is the second thing to do. You have a list of all those important phone numbers. Uh, thirdly, have a spare mobile phone that you've got all those numbers already uh, entered into. Um, Fourth, have a spare set of keys, door keys and car keys. So if you're not able to get at your keys, uh, you've already got a spare set in the pack bag. So five is to have that pack bag with um, all those documents and keys 
and any medications uh, that you might need or that your children might need, um, sturdy footwear and uh, some warm clothing. Um, and, and don't pack too much because you don't want to uh, hamper yourself. Uh, six, uh, have a code word set up with a close friend or family member. Uh, seven, rehearse your escape route uh, because, it, you know, you may, may not be sure which, which door you're going to need to leave. So rehearse your escape route. Uh, and then eight, connect with your domestic abuse agency in your local uh, town. Uh, Nine, cover your tracks. Make sure you don't leave any history apparent on your computer. Um, if you were able to take your computer with you, that would be good. But sometimes computers that, you know, it's not easy to start taking your computer out if you're leaving in a hurry uh, when your partner's still around. Um, so nine is covering your tracks and 10, is about being aware of uh, any bank transactions, any transactions that you make with uh, your bank card uh, while you're away so that it doesn't lead your partner to find you. So if you've got all of these things in place and th that arrangement, then in a way you can relax and you can um, feel uh, a bit more confident about getting away safely, because as I say, a, a time when um, a victim of emotional and domestic abuse or coercive control, time when you're at the most risk is when you're leaving. So if you've done all your thinking in advance and got a good plan in place, you're more likely to get away quickly and safely. So good luck with that and leave your comments below. And if you find this uh, video useful, please subscribe if you would like any ongoing videos. So bye for now.